We are back for part two of this video. We just left our other room where we had our first setup where we had the whole podcast and live show experience. Now we're over here where we're gonna actually have the conference. So I'm gonna take you through the setup over here. So first we'll head to the back of the room because that's where all the gear is set up. We got our pretty much the same gear that we had to start with. And I walk you through this setup for a conference. You can do the same setup for your local church ministry. So we have our laptop. That's going to be our first uh, main piece of equipment. This is going to be running Wirecast. That's a software that I like to use to bring in some of the graphics. So we're you doing Wirecast. I have an extra external monitor just so I can have an extra screen for visibility. One thing about Wirecast is that it has the ability to not only stream, but to record as well. So I have a HD or a uh, portable hard drive right here, 500 gig hard drive. So I'm gonna have a backup copy of the live stream recording on there. In addition, we have our data video 4K switcher that we use after using this for the podcast show that we did. I'm really comfortable with this. It didn't take that long to really get familiarized with the buttons and People were kind of shocked that I was just using two PTZ cameras and just using the joystick pan and tilting from this one device. So uh, the quality looked really good on TV. So if you haven't seen the video, I'll link to that below, but just being able to tap the screen and bounce between our three cameras that we're gonna have to set up for this shot, along with our slideshow presentation that is brought in. So two HDMI connections into the switcher, which we have our data video 4K, PTZ cameras, and then we have another camera at the front of the room that's gonna be our audience shot, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. And then we have one HDMI coming from the TV in the front of the room with the laptop presentations that's being fed into here as well. From here, we're recording SD card in here to record again, so backups, backups, backups. I'm recording on that one, recording on this one. And then we have audio being fed into this live stream as well. So my guy Chris is going to be running all the audio over here. We have our Yamaha mixer. We have Shure microphone. We have a couple other handheld microphones. And you always need a set of batteries because if you're doing anything wireless, you want to have batteries, 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 backups, backups, backups. So. Uh, 4K PTZ cameras, what I really like about these from the show we did is the fact that we have a preview and a program. So you have the green up there and then I can switch over and show you guys the red as well. So I really like that. So the talent knows which camera is live and which camera is in the preview. All of that on a tripod like normal. But before we go to the front of the room, let me, let me shout out KBCN, we got James over here. So you guys will see him in some videos. James, tell people what it is you guys do with KBCN because you guys have helped um, do this whole live streaming thing. So it's been pretty cool to collaborate with yeah. you. Yeah, what we actually do here at KBCN, we are a online television network. And what we do, we take podcasters and we take them and we put them on our network. And now they're on a family network to where now we can go ahead and distribute to millions of viewers all over the world. So that's what we do here. Here at KBC and TV. Cool, cool. Thank you, James. We got John back here. This is my guy, John. We've been talking a lot about <laughs> church setup. So I know, John, when we first met, like last year, yeah. uh, you saw a lot of the equipment that we're yes. using and a lot of the equipment that you guys use. Can you kind of talk about the equipment and how we use it for a conference, but how easy this is to, for using in a ministry as well? Actually, Monty, what I love about the equipment more than anything, if you have uh, limited manpower yeah. and you only have one or two people in your audio visual uh, ministry, in your television, television ministry with the equipment there it allows you to um, run all the pieces of equipment remotely uh, in a robotic style and, and it's so easy to put together it's easy to connect and it's easy to direct and and, and the, the joystick and the uh, cameras they're easy to read green, read green and red 
easy for the praise and worship people to know which camera to talk to, easy for the pastor to know when he wants to talk to his online congregation on, on what they want to do. So it's been very smooth. And so we just interchange it. But we really love it for ministry, especially when we have volunteers. Yeah. And we don't have a lot of time to train. The equipment really benefits us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely want to thank Data Video for sending us over the switcher because as we were playing with it this morning, James, uh -huh. you got the chance to see like, oh, this is a lot easier. And we didn't have to do a whole bunch of back and forth. Right. Like, right. I was right. able to control cameras. Right. You were able to control the stream. We right. had Chris just doing the audio. So what looked like a 50 camera setup was just right. three people running the whole entire Correct. thing. Exactly. So it was pretty cool. And that's the beauty of it. Yeah. So if you have manpower and so if you're even a startup media company and you want to begin to do business, this is great equipment to have. Uh, you can really, it levels the playing field yeah. right. for those who want to get out there and have the, the brain space to do it but don't have the manpower. They can almost be almost right. just about be a one man show. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I love about it. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you guys. Oh, no problem. Thank you, Mike. Let's keep on going. We're almost done, y'all. Let's look at the final piece of this setup here. We have our third camera. This is going to be our crowd shot camera. So um, as we're doing QA with the audience, we don't want to see the back of their heads with the cameras in the back of the room. So we have this camera up here, and this one is connected wirelessly. So we're using the Hollyland system. This is the 400. Uh, S Pro, so this is like a very low latency signal to send wireless video back to our production. That's also hooked up to our data video switcher and it makes things a lot easier to take this camera and if we need to move it from this position to another position in the room, we don't have to worry about any extra cables. That is our setup for this particular conference. If you guys have questions about anything that I'm using, definitely let me know in the comments section. I'll also link to where you can purchase all of this equipment if you need any of this gear for your setup. With that, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. My name is Monty Weaver. In the next five minutes, I'm going to walk you through creating a YouTube channel and monetizing it. So when I got started on YouTube, it was January 2020. In 2019, I told people I was going to get on YouTube and grow an audience. One of the first videos that I did was this video called Live Stream Pre-Recorded Videos. It's a nine minute video. That video generated over 200,000 views. I was on Periscope, I was on Facebook, I haven't tried Instagram yet, I ain't tried LinkedIn all the way yet, YB. One thing I like about YouTube is the fact that you can monetize YouTube very quickly. As business owners, we're looking at profit and loss, the bottom line, right? YouTube has this thing called the description section. And what I didn't really realize at the time was how important this part was for me. Anybody use anything called affiliate links, affiliate commission, you recommend a product, you recommend a service. This one URL probably generated me close to 20,000 that year. All I did, you guys, I want you to catch this. I put up content, I know my audience, you needed to know how to live stream because the world shut down and you didn't know how to do it. So when I put this link in the description, a whole bunch of people went out and bought it. I'm gonna turn each one of y'all into content creators because you can monetize content. Outside of your business, you can monetize posting on Instagram, posting on YouTube. Tell people why you like the software and the benefits of that software. Go to trends.google.com and it will tell you. If there are keywords in your industry, type it in and you'll see the search volume. These people are actively looking for information. Next one, very similar, is answerthepublic.com. If you've never used it before, it's a great way to find out questions that you can use in your YouTube titles. So how do I do this? Three different ways to do X. That's a great resource for you to create the titles. So this one was early in my YouTube days. Live stream pre-recorded videos, no fancy fonts, bold, easy to see. They're gonna see how long that video is. And then the actual video title was how to live stream pre-recorded video. So it was very clear on what that was. If you look at my YouTube description now, y'all, some of y'all know I love Amazon Live stuff because it's the affiliate commission over there. My description is loaded with affiliate links. You don't need subscribers to monetize. You need the eyeballs. This number keeps going up regardless of what they do. I'm able to monetize because I'm going to say in the video, if you want to check out what I'm wearing, the link is in the description. And I'm strategic on what I put in the description because the brand deals and sponsorships, those brands I want to align myself with. 
The reason Sure Microphone sends us a whole bunch of microphones and even the equipment, this is part of my YouTube video right now, that we're using in the back right now that costs a whole bunch of money is because I said, hey, I'm going to create content on YouTube that gets views, do you wanna be a part of this? Very strategic of what I put in that description session because those are brands I want to work with. Shout out to Sure Microphones. Thank <laughs> you.